Hello, welcome to my channel. Today we are going to talk about snow leopard. How endangered it is, which areas do they inhabit in, why is it hard to find them, how their body is built, do they attack humans, are they endangered, what kind of threats do they have. Alright, without further ado, let's get started. The snow leopard is a large cat native to the mountain ranges of Central and South Asia. Snow leopards are found in 12 countries including China, Bhutan, Nepal, India, Pakistan, Afghanistan, Russia and Mongolia. No one is really sure exactly how many snow leopards there are in the wild. In large part, that's due to how difficult they are to study. Its inhabitant include some of the highest and coldest mountain ranges in the world, which are inaccessible at worst and inhospitable at the best to human researchers. It inhabits at elevations from 3000 to 4500 meters, which is around 9800 to 14800 feet, ranging from, to be precise, eastern Afghanistan, the Himalayas, the Tibetan Plateau, to southern Siberia, Mongolia, and West China. In the northern range countries, it also lives at low elevations. Snow leopards are so elusive and their terrain so unapproachable that they were the last of the big cat species to be subjected to a subspecies assessment, which found that there may actually be three distinct subspecies of snow leopard. After performing the first ever range wide genetic survey of snow leopards, researchers determined that there are three primary genetic clusters of big cats, each of which qualified for its own subspecies. Researchers also discovered based on their DNA analysis that snow leopards experience what is called a genetic bottleneck or population bottleneck about 8000 years ago, meaning their population size and genetic diversity were greatly reduced at a time when Tibetan Plateau was significantly warmer and the tree line was shifting to higher elevations. This finding may suggest that snow leopards are particularly sensitive to climate change. Based on phylogenetic analysis of DNA sequence sampled across the living felid eye, the snow leopard forms a sister group with the tiger. Genetic divergence time of this group is estimated at around 4.62 to 1.82 million years. Snow leopard and the tiger probably diverged between 3.5 and 2.7 million years ago. Well, enough of its technical side, now let's move on to its build. The snow leopard's powerful build allows it to scale a great steep of slope with ease. Its hind legs give the snow leopard the ability to leap six times the length of its body. A long tail provides balance and agility and it also wraps around the resting snow leopard as protection from the cold. Snow leopards are highly adapted to their home in the cold high mountains. Their thick fur patented with dark rosettes and spots is the perfect camouflage for their rocky habitat, allowing them to stalk their prey. Their beautiful coats are also made up of long hairs with a dense woolly underfur to protect them against cold. For millennia, this magnificent cat was the king of the mountains. The mountains were rich with their prey such as blue sheep, wild sheep, ibex, marmots, pikas, and hares. Their stealthy predators able to kill prey up to three times their own weight. Snow leopards prefer to ambush their prey from above using broken terrain to conceal their approach. will actively pursue their prey down steep mountains using the momentum of their initial leap to chase the animals for up to 300 meters, that's around 980 feet. They will kill with a bite to the neck and may drag the prey to a safe location before feeding. They consume all edible parts of the carcass and can survive on a single Himalayan blue sheep for two weeks before hunting again. Their annually prey needs to be 20 to 30 adult blue sheep. Snow leopards play a key role as both top predator and as an indicator of health of their high altitude habitat. If the snow leopards thrive, so will countless other species. The snow leopard has not been reported to attack humans and appears to be least aggressive to humans of all big cats. As a result, they are easily driven away from livestock. They readily abandon their kills when threatened and may not even defend themselves when attacked. 
The snow leopard has been listed as endangered since 1986 but now had its threat status downgraded to vulnerable. It is listed as vulnerable on the International Union for Conservation of Nature red list because the global population is estimated for less than 6000. Their population is suspected to have declined by 20% over the past 16 years and is expected to decline by 10% by 2040. Snow leopards continue to face a number of threats including habitat loss, poaching, increasing conflict with communities and climate change is now putting the future of their mountain home at even greater risk. Let's go a little bit in detail. Poaching. Snow leopards have long been killed for their beautiful fur, but their bones and other body parts are also used in traditional Asian medicine. The illegal trade in snow leopard parts appears to be increasing. Conflict with communities. Herders sometimes kill snow leopard in retaliation for attacking their livestock and the decline in snow leopards natural prey due to hunting competition from increasing livestock herds is forcing them to rely on livestock for food and increasing risk of retaliatory killings The next problem is shrinking home snow leopards need a vast area to survive but expanding human and livestock population are rapidly encroaching on other habitat new roads and mines are also fragmenting their remaining range and the last but not least climate change all these threats will worsen by the impact of climate change on the fragile mountain environment putting the future of snow leopards at even greater risk it will also endanger the livelihood of local communities and the tens of millions of people living downstream of these major watersheds after all this information what do you think we should do to protect the world and the elusive animal the snow leopard